Belgian authorities say that police raids, about 10 of them, have foiled terrorist attacks on police buildings. A spokesman for the federal prosecutors said some of the members of the targeted group had been to Syria, where a Western coalition is bombarding strongholds of the terrorist group Islamic State. L'enquête a permis de déterminer que ce group the investigation was able to establish that this group was about to commit terrorist acts on a grand scale in Belgium, and imminently. During the intervention, the suspects immediately and for several minutes opened fire with military weaponry and handguns on special forces of the federal police before being neutralized. Two suspects were killed, and a third was intercepted at the scene. No witnesses or police were hurt during the intervention. Verviers is a former industrial town with a large immigrant population. It is about 125 kilometers southeast of the capital, Brussels. An eyewitness described the swift action near the Verviers train station. I saw a black car arrive and armed policemen came out. They blocked the street and ran into the building. Everything happened so fast. I had no idea what was going on, but I heard shooting. A local police chief said it was a federal police operation and that his forces did not participate. The operation was quite destructive, both in terms of human loss and material loss. The mayor of Verviers praised the way the operation was handled. I can only deplore what they were planning, but above all, we should praise the quality of the firepower of our federal police. They were successful in a very good operation, trying to stop these people, two of whom are dead. It's important to underline the quality of their work. We have avoided a major drama here today. The Belgian anti-terror operation took place days after suspected Islamist militants killed 17 people in two separate attacks in Paris. Those attacks have not been linked with the raid in Belgium. Thousands of foreign fighters have joined the Islamic State in Syria. Many of them are returning to their home countries after the U.S. and Western coalition air raids destroyed some of the group's strongholds in Iraq and Syria. Security agencies say they now pose a threat at home. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.